Twenty suns? Twenty suns? A stellar? That's a lot. A, a, a stellar? We're brothers. We're happy and we're vlogging and we're color. No, 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 no. Give me a high five. Oh, come on. What's good, bro? Yes, yes, sir. We back with it, baby. In yes, the sir. flesh, you know what I'm saying? On another <laughs> video, baby. And today we got what if you fell into a black, black hole, bro? Right? Hey, damn. You fell into a black hole, you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do, man. You damn near finna die, but I don't even know if you're finna But look, die. though, but look, but look, Nick, 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 I heard, I heard, I heard what might happen is you could get out of the black hole alive. If you hit that like button. If you hit the damn like button. So you need to do that because you got to be precautious. You got to be precautious, And man. you need to hit the subscribe <laughs> button. That'll even double your chances. And hit the notification bell and you out the clear, bro. You're out the clear. You out know the what I'm clear. saying? He is basically Superman at this Big point. Big facts. You, you, know you know can withstand saying? the black hole you energy. You understand everything. You know what I'm saying? So you need to go ahead and do that because we're going to get into the video, Yo. baby. And we're going to do that now. Let's go. What if you fell into a black hole, bro? What if? You know what I'm saying? Shout out. How much do you know about black holes? A little bit. A little bit. What would happen if you fell into one? I know enough. Say one day you were exploring space, looking for a new planet for humans to inhabit. Right, right, came across a black hole and decided, eh, why not check it out? Right. Stupid. Let's be stupid How would you get out? Would there be a shortcut to another universe? It might. This is what if. And here's what would happen if you fell into a black hole. Okay. Despite being black and a hole, what if you start a black hole backwards. is. What say what? What if time moves backwards for you? Oh, in black in the black hole? Yeah. Bro, that would be crazy. Like as soon as you hit the but how would it move backwards? Like in what way? Like you in the black hole? What if you What if you what if you was in the black hole? And then, like you said, time moved backwards. So just like a, in a way, that time moved backwards. You see yourself going out the hole, but yeah, you're still in. going that's, in that's, the hole. That's you coming in, Ooh. but it looks like you're going out. The right. Hole. That's hard. That would be crazy. That's some interstellar shit. That's some interstellar. Hey, let us know down in the comments if y'all ever seen the movie Interstellar. Interstellar, man. That you know go saying? a lot into space. You know that movie is very hard. Bro. Took me a few times to figure it out, though. Yes, Watch bro. It, that's man. a great movie. Great Literally. Movie. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the only movies where I ever, like, watched it over again willingly a few times because I right. needed to. It was hella interesting, you feel man, me? Man, Interstellar was not no joke, man. And it, you know what I'm saying? It's a black hole scene, so if you ain't seen it, we putting you on game right now. You know what I'm saying? Not a dark, empty space. Okay. In his theory of relativity, right. Einstein predicted how black holes are formed. Right, right. When a massive star dies, it leaves a smaller remnant core behind. Okay. Mm -hmm. If the core's mass is at least three times bigger than the mass of our sun, gravity overwhelms all other forces and turns the core into a black hole. Hey, that's a lot of force. That's a lot of force from a lot of a gravity hole colliding a hole in on itself. Oh, God. You know what I'm saying? But don't let its name fool you. A black hole isn't a hole at all. See, I knew that from school. I knew that from school. You knew that from school? I knew that from school. I feel you. You feel me? She it's taught not, you right? Yeah, it's not like an actual hole. It's just a mass of, like, a, energy. Of, of energy. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a mass of energy. Literally. But don't let its name fool you. With a black hole gravity. isn't a hole at all, but rather a huge amount of matter packed into a very small space. Matter, that's what I mean. Yeah. Not mass. Think matter. of the sun. You know, it's gravitational mean. field 28 times stronger than Earth's. We know what you meant, Nick. If you were to walk on the sun, you'd be 28 times heavier than you are on Earth. That's crazy. Damn. Now, imagine squeezing four suns. It's hella gravity on the sun. You'd be walking down like... What'd you say? I said you'd be walking like... Ugh. Right, bro? You just... Ugh. Imagine oh. if Earth had the gra sun's gravity. Bro, it would be so hard to walk. Motherfuckers would damn near get sucked to the ground. <laughs> Literally. Bro, your ankle would damn near. Oh. You would start crushing like your bones yeah. would start crushing. It's your, but your, it would be so much weight like packed down. Literally. 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 Ooh, yeah. And then like you said, you would be 28 pounds heavier. So like, 
You have to, it'd be hard as fuck to lift your leg. Literally. You have to go through training like Goku. Right, you you do the hyper time, like the hyperbolic time chamber. You can't capture that gravity training, training. You know what I'm saying? You you would have to do gravity training at that point. Oh, for sure. Without a doubt. Now, imagine squeezing four suns into something that's just 15 miles in diameter. The uh, distance you can cover in a 30 minute drive. Right. What would the gravity be like there? A black hole's gravity is so strong that even light can't get out. That's why you'll never see one. But you can detect it from the gamma ray bursts that the hole emits. Uh huh. These mm -hmm. bursts, discovered by Stephen Hawking, now carry his name, Hawking radiation. Right, right. Stephen Hawking himself believed that black holes can be passages to another universe. Okay. So you if you were to fall into one, you would you find know. yourself in an alternate dimension? Now we'll Every be black right hole has an event horizon. The point at which gravitational pull becomes so strong you can't escape from it. The point of no return. Bro, this stuff is interesting. It's interesting as hell, as hell bro. I'm telling you, cause you never like, bro, like, like, it's so much, it's only so much on earth here. You know, bro, what I'm and it's we, a lot out there. Literally, bro, we have not even cracked the the, the surface of space, of space bro. Like, we ain't even been out of our solar system. We haven't even sent another human being to another planet. Humans, we are freaking slack. Bro, we going outside Why are right you now, bro. 700 mil on the 700 bill on the military budget. Spend 700 bill to Towards send space. Them to Mars. Come on, now that's what we need, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we we we. Hey, hey, humans, we doing stuff ass backwards. Okay? Backwards, ass backwards. We need to be uh, exploring this. space. We need to be on this. We need to be on now. Star Trek. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What if we like think about this, bro? Like, what if we really knew? What happens when you enter a black hole? Like you don't just die. Like somebody would have a video. Maybe you. maybe you would have superpowers. They you think they think something will happen, but they don't know. Maybe that would evolve the human race as, as we know it. You know what I'm saying? Bro, what if you became like? What if you got sucked into the black hole and right. like? You absorb the powers of the black hole. That's what I'm saying, bro. You feel me? You know, like you got happen. black hole powers. Yes, that would be hard. hard. Wow, bro. Oh yeah. Crazy. All right, we're gonna get back into the video. We're gonna get back into it. The yeah. pole becomes so strong you can't escape from it. The point of no return. Right. The point of no return. If you found yourself outside of that point, you'd see that stars are twisted around a perfect circle of darkness. Mm, that's crazy. As you start being pulled toward a black hole, you'd be moving faster and faster. Accelerated by the force of gravity. Oh, I'd be terrified. That's the first terrified. bad news for you, brave space traveler. The gravitational force of a black hole is very, very strong. I'm if sure you it is. First, mm -hmm. Your legs would be feeling a stronger gravitational pull than your head. Oh. Your body would be stretched apart. The most common black holes are called stellar. They can stretch about nine miles across yes. and be as heavy as 20 suns. If you happen to be pulled towards a stellar. 20 suns? 20 suns? A stellar? A, lot. A, a, a stellar, bro? I ain't never heard of a stellar. This a is stellar, a stellar, bro. I ain't this, never heard of this. I ain't never heard of this. Oh, nigga. God, bro. This is some new shit. What? So, we talk, so, so a black hole is, is four suns, the way to four suns. A stellar black hole is the way of 20 suns. What? Bro. I mean, okay, so let, okay, so if the black hole is dragging your legs like that, then. The stellar, yo, the stellar. No, that's what he was talking about. He was talking about stellar. No, he was talking about the black hole. Oh, okay. He was talking about the regular black hole. Oh, and, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you would feel your legs dragging before you felt your head. Your legs would rip apart from your body. Though. Without a doubt. Yo, without a doubt. You would see your legs like rip, or just off. Of you. you would, you would basically turn into a broken spaghetti noodle. He said a broken spaghetti. <laughs> Literally. Just like that. Miles across and be as heavy as 20 suns. Uh -uh. If you happen to uh -uh. be pulled towards a stellar black hole, you'd be completely torn apart before you even reach the event horizon. Yep. Uh -huh. So make sure to choose a yep. supermassive one. The one that's a million times heavier than our sun. In this case, your body would remain unharmed as you cross the event horizon. What? The Hold on, would be on, we gotta go back. So we make sure to choose one. You'd be completely torn apart right. before you even reach the event horizon. So make sure to choose a supermassive one. The one that's a million times heavier than our sun. In this case, your body would remain unharmed as you cross the event horizon. As a grip. So, 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 he talking about an even more powerful one than the stellar one. He talking about an even more powerful one than the stellar one. I think he's he, talking about the stellar one. No, I think he talking about an even more powerful, because the stellar one was 20 times the right. sun. But he's saying this one is a million times our sun. Mm -hmm. And I guess, that, I guess since it's so much, you will be fine. I guess so. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Miles across and be as heavy as 20 suns. 
If you happen to be pulled towards a stellar black hole, you'd be completely torn apart mm -hmm. before you even mm. reach the event horizon. You'd be over. So make over. sure to choose a supermassive one. A supermassive one. The, the big ass boy. Our sun. The in big one. Your body would remain unharmed as you cross the event they horizon. They call that one big stellar. The gravity would be pulling both big your feet stellar. and your head with almost the same strength. And if you're wondering mm -hmm. where to find one, you don't have to look too far. There's right. one right at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. Mm -hmm. Luckily, it's 165 quadrillion miles away from us, and will suck in neither the sun nor the planets. See, bro, and that's how y'all know that. Right? How y'all know that? How the hell do y'all know that? How do y'all know that? Because y'all can't tell the future. And that's what I'm saying. That's another thing, bro. Why don't humans got warp speed? Yeah, we should have warp travel. Yeah, right. Come you on, now. We should do that. Like, we should have warp speed, bro. Like, if the concept is there, y'all should be able to make it come to fruition. It is 2020, bro. Get to it! Get to it! Scientists! Man, put that damn budget towards the next e Elon Musk! Come Elon on, bro! Elon Musk! We, 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 we waiting on you, bro! And we waiting on that damn Cybertruck, baby! Come, Come on, on, bro! Mm -hmm. Let's Man. get it! But don't pack your suitcase just yet. Don't do that. Crossing the event horizon is just the beginning of the challenge. Right. There's a gravitational singularity at the center of the black hole. Okay. Where density becomes infinite. You'd be squashed into that center and become one with the black hole. You wouldn't be able to tell anyone about your experience. Damn. However, a person observing you from outside the event horizon would see a very different picture. As you were falling into a black hole, they'd right. see you slowing down, getting dimmer and redder. In uh -huh. the end, you'd just freeze, never crossing the event horizon. What? This is because huh? space and time in a black hole swap their roles. At the event horizon, time comes to a standstill, while space, on the other hand, moves forward. You wouldn't be able to turn around. Time comes to a standstill while space, on the other hand, moves forward. That makes sense. That makes sense because, like, you still in space. Right. But time... It's not, it it's, don't it's, work it's, the it don't same. It don't work the same no more. It don't work the same no more since you're off Earth. You... Time is... Is, is, is irrelevant. Irrelevant in space. Literally. Into, yeah, literally. While space, on the other hand, moves forward. You wouldn't be able to turn around and escape the black hole any more than you could travel back in time. Uh -huh. Even when the black hole eventually died, emitting all the particles it had absorbed, right. including your body, it would be impossible to tell whether those particles were you. Stephen Hawking, however, found a way in which the information about your body wouldn't be lost. Right. He theorized that there are alternative universes with different histories. This means, in one reality, you fell into a black hole. In the second one, there was no black hole. It's impossible to be certain from a... Alternate reality. I, I de me personally, I definitely believe in alternate reality. No, I do too, bro. Cause it's like, what is this? What right. is this reality? So if this is our reality, I'm sure there's another type of reality. Right. This is just one timeline of many timelines mm -hmm. because it's many possibilities of every decision that we make. Like, bro, you gotta understand. You know what I'm saying? My reality and our reality, our lives are different than your reality. So mm -hmm. if that, if there's a possibility of a difference in reality there between two people right then what's to say that this universe right ain't different from a different universe tell him that you know what i'm saying tell him reality you right know what i'm saying well you know like, yeah. he was the smartest yeah. you know? come on now smart martyrs for a second come on now you know what i'm saying you're going inside of the event horizon whether there's a black hole or not until you fall in there if you cross the event horizon and there was a black hole uh -huh. sayonara but if you happen to be in a reality Sorry. where the black hole didn't exist, you'd still be alive, just in a different universe. Right. There would be no way for you to get back to ours. Would you dare explore the possibility? Would you dare explore the possibility? Hell no, cause I'm Hell not trying not. to die. Nah, bro, I ain't me. I ain't going through no damn black I'm hole. I'm not going through no black hole. You gonna mess around? What if it mess around? And like you know how he said, basically time is irrelevant. Yeah. What if your mind basically got trapped in the black hole? Mm -hmm. And like, okay, Bro. you so you just stuck in that black hole for the rest of eternity. The rest of eternity. That's so, all you see. So you didn't die. And your spirit wasn't able to take off this shit because you stuck in the black hole. Literally, oh, that would be the that would be one of the worst things right there. Right. Literally, literally, you would be trapped forever. Nah, bro. Ain't bro a, what if you were stuck in a time paradox? That would be sub. That would yeah, suck. That, bro, if you you talking about like you kept falling into the black yeah, hole? Yeah, like, Oh, yeah. my God. Kept falling into the black hole forever and ever and suck. ever. 
Literally, bro, that'd be terrible. Mm -hmm. On me. Hey, man, we hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hey, let us know what y'all would do. Would y'all go into the black hole? Would you? Would you get into would it? Would you do it for a million dollars? Would you do it for two million dollars? You better say no, because at that point, money is irrelevant to you, bro. Just Come like time is irrelevant in space. In space, space, man. But hit the like button. Hit the subscribe on. button. Bro, on the damn post notification. Yes, you already have them on, bro. You should. You yeah, should. You twiking. You're twiking, bro. Twiking, twiking. But we gonna go ahead and get out in the video. Let go. Where are you from? Tell me where you're from.